Mother Nature never intended for our ears to listen to rock concerts, put in headphones, uh, work at the airport, stand on subway platforms. It just wasn't what Mother Nature thought we were gonna be doing. That simple point helps explain the damage that causes hearing loss for millions of people. This is the inside of your ear. And when you're exposed to loud noises, it comes in here. And these tiny hair follicles could actually be damaged by that loud noise. The damage is irreversible. But a local company is showing promise in changing that. You're working with the body's native biology or natural biology to really heal itself. David Lucchino is co-founder and CEO of Frequency Therapeutics. We first introduced you to the company almost two years ago as it was developing the drug FX322. The goal is to show that we could do two things for humans, which is we could help people, you know, hear sound more loudly, and then the second half of that, can they see, hear the sound more clearly? And those are an important one-two punch in this process. We're all born with about 15,000 tiny hairs in each ear. They act like antennas to pick up sound. Loud noises kill them off, and our bodies just throw them away, never to be replaced. Frequency Therapeutics developed a new drug they say can convince nearby stem cells to regenerate the destroyed hair follicles. Regrow the hair, restore your hearing. What these small molecules do, believe it or not, are able to signal to the body and say, hey, listen, we told you to do this you know, when you were in your mother's womb, now we need you to do it again. 24 patients were injected with a gel during a five minute outpatient procedure last year. That was phase one of the FDA process. Phase one proved no safety issues, and, and that's really all that study was designed to do. Now it's on to phase two, which will explore if the drug can be used in multiple doses. If all goes well, Frequency Therapeutics plans on asking the FDA to fast track the drug, citing recent studies that link hearing loss to other diseases like depression and dementia. Hearing loss is, you know, affects everybody, rich or poor, uh, male or female. Wow. Now, yeah. After my first cutting edge story about frequency therapeutics, many of you contacted me and said, hey, I want to be part of these clinical trials. So phase two has not started yet, but you can find out more about volunteering for any of these studies hmm. at clinicaltrials.gov. Just do a search for the drug FX322, and that will give you some ideas if you want to join into it.